Hi guys, welcome back to DeFi Daily. Today I want to ask you something. If you had the opportunity to choose just a single driver to promote DeFi, which one will you use? Because that's an important point to understand because most of the people are just thinking the reason why people are joining DeFi is just for money. As we will discuss and exactly how we will demonstrate today, it's not just about money. And we will discuss exactly which is the real reason and what are the drivers that we should take in account to see this space growing. Just before to start, guys, remember that if you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe if you're new, to leave a big thumbs up and drop a comment. Just a small effort for you, but really means a lot to me and also can help other people to retrieve this content. And remember, everything we do into this channel is just educational content and nothing has to be intended as financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that's great, but do always also your own research. Okay, guys, let's start immediately. As I was saying to you before, most of the people are thinking that uh, the reason why people are joining the DeFi space is just for money. But let's do a step back and let's try to figure out what are the players. And we can identify two main players. First of all, institutional players. On the other side, we have retail players, so people like all of us that are using their personal funds. Let's stop to the first category. The first category is institution. And what are looking institution? Yes, in that case, that's true. They are looking for money. The point is that the kind of environment that they are looking for is much more secure than what DeFi is able to offer. DeFi at this point is not able to offer a reliable and a consistent ecosystem where institutional player can move. That's the main reason why at this point not so many institutions are joining the DeFi space. And that's also the reason why we have a so small liquidity. In order to have more institutions, we need to have a more mature ecosystem. So what we can say is that, yes, there are some institutions into the DeFi space, but the reality is that in order to have more of them, we need to change. We need to grow the ecosystem from a security point of view. On the other side, when we are talking about retail, so normal people like us, what is the main drive? What is the reason why they are joining? Yes, they have the dream to earn a lot. But on the other side, they are all aware that DeFi is something that is related to the financial system. Most of the time they don't have, we don't have the uh, previous knowledge, the previous ability to know how the different financial system, financial tools are working. And that's something that is pretty important to understand because uh, try to figure it out, try to stop for a second, try to think, what have been the most successful project into the DeFi space from a retail point of view? What are the projects that all of the people are talking about? And the answer is quite easy. It's Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, and most of the time is gaming. Let's have a look, for example, also to this chart. Look at this. If we try to have a look to which product has been able to generate the most of the revenue into the last year, you will see that it's not a DeFi protocol, but it's the Axie Infinity. So it's a game. And after that, we have OpenSea that is still entertainment. And after that, we have also Luxrare. So again, entertainment. And the reason is because people are loving, yes, to make money, but most of the time to enjoy their time. Because the average person doesn't have the skills to face the uh, DeFi space like a pro. For this reason, it is starting from uh, gaming and from entertainment. And about it, let me share with you a behind the scene that happened just the other day into one of my interviews that is talking exactly about uh, this kind of happenings. Listen what he has to say. If you look at just the growth cycle of the last two years, there's been about 18 million wallets that have been created for the sole purpose of NFTs and GameFi. There's been about a quarter million wallets, so like 0.25 million that were built around uh, pure DeFi. So like for sure, the real user acquisition, um, the, the killer uh, product in the market today is entertainment. Jonathan from the team of Levana, that is a project that was built on Terra, even if right now, after all the mess that happened on Terra, they are figuring out to which chain to move. 
Uh, it is a project that will leave also a link to this project in the description below. Uh, what he was saying is that exactly as we were talking about previously, DeFi, pure DeFi is just a myth. Yes, it would be nice having a pure DeFi ecosystem that is growing organically because all the people are loving to use pure DeFi tools. The reality is that it's like a utopia. People are loving something that is much easier or at least they want to learn while having fun. And that's something that is really important. And that's one of the biggest challenge when we are talking about the growth of DeFi and also the reason why so many GameFi projects are pushing. And for example, we can understand it exactly also from this chart. This chart down here, as you can see, this spike is not related to uh, the Luna crash, is not related to anything that happened that has been able to generate much more volume to the crisis of Luna. This spike is related to a board and to the launch of their metaverse, because these are the kind of news that are attracting so many people. And about GameFi, I want to stop for a second and I want to introduce to you also another project that is coming from one of my, my sponsors. And it is called Ooze and it is a GameFi project. GameFi is like the middleman between Axe Infinity, so a play to earn, and DeFi. I'm saying that it's like the middleman because from a play to earn is coming the gamification even if they don't have a game file, doesn't have the ability to have this kind of in-depth uh, gaming dynamics. Uh, I want to also add that, in my opinion, to have a real play to earn that is uh, sustainable during the long term, I think that most of the game that we have seen into the play to earn space, they should also increase and empower a lot their dynamics in terms of gaming. On the other side, when we are talking about GameFi, we are talking also about DeFi dynamics. For example, in this case about Ooz, what we have inside is a staking protocol where you can use the normal uh, vocabulary, the normal uh, way that you are using a DeFi protocol, but with some kind of gamification activity that I will show you in a moment. And this kind of middleman are something that could be helpful to grow also the whole DeFi space. I know what some of you is thinking, come on, man, you can't say this. One story is just having DeFi, another story is having this kind of GameFi that is so risky and is literally insane. Yes, from one point of view it's true, but on the other side, we have to accept what is the human nature. The human nature is what it is, and it is something that is attracted by having fun, the opportunity to earn and something that is easy and they can literally engage with it. And that could be also a good opportunity to learn from it. And that's also one of the reasons why I'm happy to announce to you that from now on, or at least it will take a couple of weeks, but I will divide this DeFi channel into two main channels. This one will be the sober one, so a pure DeFi channel. And another one will come that you can already subscribe. If you're curious to know more about it, you can check it from the link into the right corner here. And it will called Drunk DeFi. And there we will talk about GameFi, about all of these DeFi protocols with a higher risk. The reason why I call Drunk DeFi is because I want to use as a metaphor the uh, different uh, alcoholic uh, bottles like, for example, beer, wine, uh, gin, pure alcohol, and the higher is the, the level of uh, alcohol into a bottle, into a drink, also higher is the risk. Because at the end of the story, is like having a drink outside. We all know that it's not the most healthy choice, but at the end of the story it could be uh, fun, we can enjoy it. And the story with DeFi and GameFi is exactly the same. The point is that being aware what kind of protocol you are using, it's like drinking just a beer or it's just like drinking pure alcohol because pure alcohol could be dangerous. A beer could be even just enjoyable. You can even drink two beers and so on. If you want to know more, remember to subscribe to the channel and we'll go further more into it into the next future. Going back to you. Uh, as I was telling you, it is a staking game, it is coming from Drip. 
the, some of the dynamics are, are close to what we have seen to drip, even if there are some kind of peculiarities. Before going uh, deeper on how does it work, I wanna share with you two main things. First of all, they have a KYC. And as I told you many times, guys, remember, you can do whatever you want, but please assure that at least the minimum level of security, it has been reached. And KYC, it is the first one. Uh, at the same story applies for audit. Here you can find also the audit of the platform. If you want to go deeper inside of it, I will leave also the link into the description below. What is OOS and how does it work? So I told you that it is similar to what we have seen to Drip. So you have to go to the platform, you have to make a deposit, and after that, you will start to earn some kind of rewards. Rewards into this protocol are going from 1% to 2%. Uh, the main difference is that uh, Ooz is not uh, on BSG, but is on Phantom. And on the other side is that uh, it is based on an NFT. So if on Drip, in the moment when you were depositing, you have uh, no access anymore to your uh, funds, in this case, your funds are becoming an NFT that you can't withdraw it, but you can sell it on the market. And what is peculiar is that um, from one side in the future into the next uh, quarter, probably you will be also be able to land against your NFT. Plus, uh, it's also offering to people that don't have uh, so much money, they don't want to invest so much into Woods, for example, into this deposit, but maybe they have more time to play, to engage with other people, to involve other people, and to build a big team. In that case, in the moment when you are selling your NFT, you are not only selling uh, the deposit that you have, uh, done into the uh, protocol, but you are also selling all the team that you have uh, been able to build. So an NFT that is coming from a small deposit with a big team could have uh, a value that is much higher than an NFT that is coming from uh, a big deposit, but without uh, a big team. Another peculiarity by Woods Finance is that you can earn points, exactly as it was in a game. As you can see also from down here, uh, we were talking uh, uh, previously about GameFi experience, and that's exactly the point. In this case, you can boost your APY from 1%, that is the base, to up to 2% daily. If you're wondering how you can increase your experience point, you can have a look also to the light paper or to the white paper. For example, you can increase uh, uh, your points uh, uh, doing something that is beneficial for the whole protocol, for example, Adding liquidity. This is something that is really important because remember, if a protocol is having a lot of liquidity, this liquidity is good for exit liquidity and also to maintain, to reduce the volatility of the price. Bigger the liquidity, lower the volatility and an exit strategy for you that are holding the uh, token. You can use your points in order to increase the maximum amount of uh, um, payout the uh, maximum amount of APY per day and also the rewards that you can distribute to your downline. Let's have just a quick look on how does it work. If you click on start, you will be redirected into the uh, DAP here on City. You will have the opportunity to pre-mint your NFT. So it means simply that you can deposit and in exchange you will receive the NFT. The NFT it looks like as the image here, and if you want to know more of them, you can just uh, browse here on the, into the Twitter page of Woods Finance or into their Discord server. And the reason why I'm showing you it is just because I want to show you how the day zero, all the NFTs will have ability equal to zero. As you can see here, strength, speed, and so on. All of this feature are features that you can improve during the time using your uh, experience point. If you want to know more, guys, I highly encourage you not to just a pin into the project, even if you can be uh, blinded by if you can love the APY, but previously join the Telegram group, join the Discord and try to go deeper, try to learn how does it work, because it is really important to understand all the rules and how the protocol is working. So just to summarize, we are talking about 
a, a game file that is a staking game. So it means that you are depositing, you are start earning this kind of APY is going from 1% to 2% is based on Phantom. You have a gameplay that is allowing you to uh, interact with uh, other players. As you can see here is uh, uh, the possibility to have a team. You have two different kind of gameplays from one side. It could be more automated. So you will have a, a bot like that is auto compounding your earnings and is managing for you all the daily operation. On the other side, you will be in charge of everything. As I told you, all of your deposits will uh, become an NFT. This NFT can be used for lending or on the other side, it is sellable. So it means that you can sell it, uh, not only the uh, initial deposit, but also the team that you have been able to build behind that deposit. There are some other rules like whale taxes and some other in order to keep the game sustainable into the long term. For example, yeah, there is a maximum amount of earnings that you can generate from the single deposit. And there are some other rules that are rewarding people, your downlines, so the other people that have been joining your team. If you want to know more about this project, I will leave also all the links that are significant into the description below. So you can ask a question to the community and you can understand better how does it work. Going back to our main topic, gamification, gaming and DeFi. What I think that we should learn is that pure DeFi could be powerful. But if we want to make this kind of ecosystem mainstream, we should simplify how people can learn about it and gamification playing while learning could be a great way obviously we should always pay attention to increase the awareness of the people that are joining the space we have not to say that gamefi is a secure space because it's just a game guys we should be aware of it as long as we are aware of it we can do whatever we want we can use it we can stay on it we can jump from a protocol to another one and so on but we should aware to the nature of it and on the other side we should start also to learn about different kind of protocols that are more pure defi I think that also us as operators should start to embrace much more and should start talking about this kind of protocol. For example, I can share the example of my mom. She is joining the crypto space, but the one of the protocols or better, one of the cryptos that she is in love, that she likes so much are Doge and Shiba. And if you think about it, that's insane. She knows much more about Shiba and Doge than a Bitcoin or Ethereum. And the main reason is because people know about something that they love, that they perceive enjoyable. If they don't enjoy, they will never learn. And DeFi most of the time is perceived as too complicated. So for this reason, gaming, GameFi and merging a gaming experience with DeFi, it is something that is welcome. And also in your case, when you start talking about DeFi in general, try to make it fun. Obviously, enlightening always what are the risks connected to DeFi because this is something that should be the first point. DeFi is risky. GameFi is even more recent. That's the reason why I have called my uh, other channel Drunk DeFi. But as long as we are aware of it, we can grow, we can learn a lot, and we can push this ecosystem to grow so much. Guys, so let me know what do you think about this topic. Let me know what do you think about uh, GameFi, play to earn, uh, DeFi, pure DeFi, and which will be the main driver in your opinion that can bring this DeFi space to another level. Guys, if you enjoyed this content, remember to subscribe to the channel, to leave a big thumbs up, drop a comment, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye, guys.